Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So yet another Bud Light update. It has now been reported that they are down 27 billion dollars. Just when you think it can't get any worse, it does. And on top of that, they are set to lose their spot as the number one beer in the country. Now, surprisingly, they still remained the number one beer in the country in spite of everything because of their sheer volume of their sales but they are set to lose that spot. And I believe they've held that spot since the 80s. So this is no joke. Once they lose that spot, I've said this before, they won't get it back because it's taken them this long to lose it. The chances of them just regaining it just like that are very slim. So let's take a look at the story. So Bud Light maker Anheuser-Busch InBev has lost a whopping $27 billion in market value in the wake of the star cross partnership with Dylan Mulvaney, most recently slammed by a 5% stock drop this week. AB InBev's market capitalization fell to $107.44 billion through the end of May, down more than 27 billion from the $134.55 billion value the company had on March 31st, the day before Mulvaney's partnership went live, according to Dow Jones Market Data Group. So clearly this is a direct result of choosing to partner with Dylan Mulvaney. There's no other way of looking at it. May was the third worst month on record for the company's shares. The stock is headed towards an official bear market, a 20% drop as the boycott continues. So a bear market is when prices continue to decline for a prolonged period of time. Shares of AB InBev stooped to $53.81 as of Thursday's closing bell. That's off more than 5% from their close last Friday and of 19% from March 31, when the beer market enjoyed a share price of $66.73. The stock was recently up 0.8% at $54.26 in early Friday trades. The Post has reached out to AB InBev for comment. Good luck getting a comment from them. They haven't even updated their social media. They've gone completely silent. Bud Light customers raised eyebrows again when conservative social media critics flagged Bud Light as a sponsor for the Cincinnati Pride Parade last week. Now, I'm sure that was something that was always in the pipeline. This is Pride Month. Companies are going to do this sort of thing, you know, every June. This is what they do. It wouldn't have been any different with Bud Light. But I think, you know, obviously they went a step too far with sponsoring Dylan because this is somebody who has offended many women because they believe, you know, Dylan is just caricaturing women and mocking women. And the whole trans debate is a very heated topic. And they threw themselves into the whole debate. A glance at the list of sponsors on the event's website reveals that the Anheuser-Busch brand is lending its name to the annual event, which will be held on June 24th. The image on the page shows a rainbow-coloured bottle of Bud Light next to a glass of beer under the heading Together in Pride. The Bud Light marketing executive associated with the Mulvaney partnership meanwhile, has refused to speak on the controversial marketing deal. No surprises there. They should have come out by now and said it was a bad move, we apologise, but they haven't. And all this other stuff they're doing is just going to, it's not going to work, clearly. Alyssa Heinenschein, 39, refused to speak when approached for comment on Mulvaney's promo before her friend cut in to say she's not supposed to talk about it. Wow. Heinenschein took a leave of absence from Bud Light as the brand began hemorrhaging billions of dollars over the partnership. People are saying, yeah, she's to blame. But ultimately, I agree with Kevin O'Leary. It's the CEO's fault. You're supposed to know what direction your company is going in. And it's not enough to just say, oh, we hired an outside agency. In consumer goods and services, Republicans drink beer, Democrats drink beer, some believe in the gender neutrality, some don't, but they all consume your product. So if you know that with certainty and you have billions of dollars of capitalization at stake, why would you go down that road in the first place? 
And so if I were a board member there saying, show me who's responsible for this, because at the end of the day, when you go into new territory, in consumer goods or services, like changing the flavor, as Coke found out decades ago, yeah, yeah. you need to own that as the CEO. If you're the man or woman running this thing, you need to own it 100% because you can't blame it on a brand manager. You can't blame it on an advertising agency. You own it. And so now what's happened within corporate America, and I can assure you this has been a conversation in every boardroom, is who's running brand here? Who's deciding what networks we post on? Who is actually doing our social media? Who is actually calling the shots on the content? Because never before has the control of content after those frames leave and get posted, you don't have control of it anymore. The rest of the world decides what they want to do with it. And you've given plenty of examples how it, how it gets reposted and used to promote other people's narratives. Yeah. And so that brand got decimated and at the end of the day, I'm sorry to say this, but the CEO, it's their fault. And then this week, Bud Light sales were the worst they have been ever, falling 25.7%, endangering its status as the world's number one beer brand, according to the latest data provided by The Post on Tuesday. Okay, then it goes on to say, the precipitous drop has narrowed the gap in sales between Bud Light and the nearest rival, Modelo Especial, which saw its sales surge 9.2% for the week ending May 20, according to Bump Williams Consulting and Nielsen IQ Data. While Bud Light loses week after week, Modelo Especial gains week after week, and now Modelo outsells Bud Light on a national basis across all trade channels combined. Bump Williams, who runs the consulting firm, told The Post. If this continues, Modelo will surpass Bud Light for the year. And I know people are thinking, well, Modelo is Anheuser-Busch anyway. Anheuser-Busch InBev owns both brands, but it does not control Modelo in the US, where it is owned by New York-based conglomerate Constellation Brands. This is a big achievement for Modelo, but it's short term said Benj Steinman, editor of Beer Marketeers Insight. Constellation is closing the gap and has said it wants to be the number one beer. Bud Light boycott is boosting the sales of competitors like Coors Light and Miller Light. Lydia, who has our story? Could there actually be a shortage of these other beers? Hey there, Stuart. There could be. That's what the experts are saying. We are in uncharted chartered waters here. But we do have data that shows that sales and volumes of Budweiser and Bud Light are falling and competitors are surging. Watch this. We're almost seeing an inverse of trends. Whatever Bud Light is down for any given week, Coors Light and Miller Light are both up. Generally, beer drinkers tend to be pretty loyal. So when that loyalty shifts, and that, that goes back to me thinking it's going to be harder and harder to get these lapsed consumers back into the family now dave williams there that you just heard from he described the situation as a seesaw between budweiser and its competitors while bud light sales are slumping more than 24 percent for the most recent week anheuser's competitors all seeing a boost here miller light coors light even yingling up by the double digits and the company's share price not doing much better anheuser-busch losing nearly 16 billion dollars in market cap since that controversial partnership, they remain in the red for the year, while other major domestic beer producers, Molson Coors and Heineken, they are gaining. Now, sales of Bud Light have fallen for six consecutive weeks. Every region of the country seeing double-digit declines, except for Las Vegas. The fallout, Stuart, it's cutting across both red states and blue states. Now, Anheuser has the very difficult task of trying to regain the customers that it's lost. And that's not going to be good for Anheuser, no matter how you look at it. For the four-week period ending May 20, Bud Light sales were down 24.3% compared to Modelo's 8% growth, according to the data. That's a monumental decline, Williams told The Post. Modelo has surpassed Bud Light for the first time since it was launched in 1982. So this is serious. This is a status they have held for 41 years and they're about to lose it. And just so we're reminded of their other brands to also boycott. 
The backlash has also caused sales of other Anheuser-Busch beers to dive. For the week ending May 20, Budweiser plunged 11.2%, Michelob Ultra fell 6.5%, Bush Light was off 5.2%, and Natural Light was down 4.9%, according to the data. Just to remind you of the other brands to boycott too. Modelo hasn't been the only competitor to benefit from Bud Light's seismic miscalculation. Yinglin, which bills itself as America's oldest brewery, has seen sales of Yinglin flight soar by a whopping 47.6% and its lager spiked by 32% for the four week period ended May 20, according to the data. So that might be another brand that you want to try. Might be easier to just pick one brand that you want to switch to and just stick with that because Anheuser-Busch owns so many brands that people don't even think about, like, you know, Stella Artois and, you know, all the other, all the other brands that they own. They've lost their number one spot or they're about to lose their number one spot because of conservatives, because of conservatives taking a stand. And yeah, it is, it is historical, it is a monumental, achievement in my opinion and we must continue to sustain the boycott and obviously there are other brands now that have been thrown in there <laughs> i from the beginning said focus on one but now clearly there's a lot of other brands that are continuing to do this so for me at the moment it's target and bud light those are my main focus it doesn't really affect me too much <laughs> So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and God willing, I will see you in the next video.